All right, what's up guys? So today I got a special package in the mail. This is the reshipment of the 18 inch Fireball Orange Aqua Training Bag. Um, this can fill up to 120 pounds. Uh, I initially got an 18 inch bag from Aqua Bag, but unfortunately it had some tiny holes in it over here, which was leaking water. All I did was contact the company and they sent me a replacement, um, no fuss and without any complications. So, you know, great customer service from Aqua Bag. A few things you want to do when you first get an aqua bag is you know inspect it make sure there are no uh, defects any um you know large gaping holes or even those microscopic type of holes uh in it because even the tiniest hole can start leaking water once you inspect the bag and you don't see any defects on it what i like to do first is i uh, start inflating the bag with air i find that it's a lot easier to fill with the water that way you will need a flathead screwdriver for this. So it, right here, you're gonna insert it. Go counterclockwise. Boom. Take out the little cap. Also what it does come with is a garden hose adapter so that you can easily um, fill it up by plugging it in here and then also another just a replacement uh, cover in case you lose yours so what I'm gonna do now is start inflating this with air and I'm just using like a basic pump just for like basketballs this might take a while So after about five minutes of uh, pumping it up, this is about as inflated I can get it. I mean, I, I feel like I could get it fully inflated, but that would take a long time just using like a, a pump like this. But it definitely helps filling up the bag with water after you first pump it with some air. The next thing to do is to fill it up with some water and try this bad boy out. So right now I'm going to be replacing my 75 pound aqua bag that is 15 inches with the 120 pound 18 inch aqua bag um, these soft loop ties do not come with the aqua bag i purchased these separately on amazon and they have a they have a brake strength of 4,500 pounds and a loading capacity of 1,500 pounds each strap um, very convenient and easy to use and very affordable on amazon so I'm gonna take this guy down and then put my 120 pound aqua bag on and start filling it up with water. Here's the DIY stand that I have made by my father a couple of years back. All right, so with the hose adapter here, basically I'm just gonna unscrew the, the head very simple very easy and then just screw it on there you go basically to take this down it's a two-man job you're gonna need one person to prop it up and the other person is gonna be unscrewing it here so let's try it out can you prop it up and remove uh, this pin over here and then we're gonna go move the bag also when you do buy an aqua bag it does come with the bow shackle over here uh, but since I already have one from the 75 pound bag and they are the same size I'm just gonna retain this one over here so from here just line it up and then slip the pin through just like so Cap on. And we can begin filling it up with some water. Turn it on full blast. So again, this aqua bag, the 18 inch is gonna fill up to 120 pounds. Um, way heavier than the 75 pound bag that I've had. All right, 
right, slowly this guy is starting to fill up. Once the water starts like spouting out, um, that might be the time to remove the water and then plug it up. Just let it spray a little bit. Mom, turn it off! So the leaking has pretty much come to a halt. I'm gonna plug it up now. All right, so I just had my wife come back out and um, she helped me fill it up even more. And then I was able to actually inflate those deflated parts over here. So um, yeah, it looks uh, more round and less uh, distorted. So it it's, looks like a teardrop design and looks ready to go. Again, uh, I'll be testing this out in the next few weeks and uh, once I've had enough time to play around with this, I will release a full review and be comparing it to my 75 pound aqua bag over here. So uh, yeah, until then, stay tuned.